Alright, on to the next step, which I believe this is the last one. Um, trying to hurry up and get these up for you, Machiavelli, but... I don't know. Okay, anyways. Music. Which I think would pretty much be the same for sound. I haven't used sound because I don't have sound. They, they do have their own um, default sound effects in here. Animals, background bells, cartoons, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I haven't used these because I just haven't used them. Um, I use music in my vids because of the fact that while you're playing music, as long as your settings are, they have sound, when you, you know, when you go up to your actual, when you do your settings on your Pinnacle Studio, um, as long as you have, um, the sound enabled, you'll still be able to hear what's going on in your game, and even though you have music playing while your, while your, uh, while your video is being played, you will hear both, of course, the sound, or the song, that you actually pick will be a little bit louder than the actual sound effects in your gameplay or your uh, whatever you're working on for your video. Um, like I said, I don't use sounds. I use songs in here. So, and like right now, I don't have that many songs in here because like I said, I just uh, I deleted all the songs off my computer and I just took a few off from my PS3 because um, I really didn't need all that on here anyways. Um... So, okay, I guess we can get started. Songs, pretty easy, just as e easy as uh, transitions. Um, simply click on, we'll fucking just, I guess, continue working with this. We'll bring it down. And like I said, um, this is only a uh, short, not so brief tutorial just for a friend that I'm, I'm trying to help because he's a little stuck where he's at right now. Um... Oh, give me one second here. I gotta do something. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's pretty easy. You uh simply click on this for your music, which would obvious match up to the same note down here for your music track, and uh, you know, you just click on whatever one that you want to use. Um, you could always listen to it before you actually place it down in there. And uh, the only problem is you guys, I mean, the music's playing right now, as you can see. You just guy, you guys probably can't hear it again. Um, well, like I said, you really don't need to hear it. You just need to actually know what to actually do. Because you guys will be experiencing this when, you, um, when, when you're actually doing this on your, on your own anyways. So, this isn't really about um, me. It's more or less about you. So it doesn't matter if you can hear this or not. This is what you, you know, as long as you follow what I'm doing, you guys will be perfectly fine. You'll, you'll be experiencing this while you're actually doing it. So you'll know what's going on when you're actually working with this. Simply click on the song that you want and just drag it down at the bottom. Match it with the little note over here and just place it anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. Now we got the song in here, and as you can see, where I placed it means that the song's not going to take any effect until 27 seconds up in here. Um, simply click on it and drag it over until it's at the beginning of your video, and that's it. So now the song will be playing, which again, you're not going to hear more than likely. Um, so your song's going to start with your video, and um. For this, we're going to go ahead and pause this real quick. Um, you could have your song played at any time you want by simply just clicking on it and just dragging it over. Um, usually people have like a little intro before their uh, video and then have the song playing. Here, I'm going to try to do this for you real quick. Uh, we'll go to pictures. Um, and usually like like with Machiavelli, seems how I'm doing this for him anyway, he's going to be making top montages and everything. So he'll probably click on something like this, like something with his name or or his uh his Modern Warfare clan. He'll bring it over here and just let go. So therefore, his intro will come in before his video. And what I do to have the best um what I think is kind of somewhat the best way to actually do it, it seems how I have my little black picture <coughs> appropriately named Blackie. Um I put it before and after 
my my title of the video um so that way I could put a transition in it um I'll put like little transition here and then I'll put a little one after it so therefore I got a transition before and after my uh, my picture so therefore if we hit the back button we could play which I'm gonna be lagging so you guys probably ain't even gonna see the transitions but he knows what I'm talking about he knows how to how to work with it see it's not even showing you anything but anyways when you do it you'll see the full effects and everything on your screen um and then as we're talking about as this is about music putting music in um usually you could probably wait until the video starts playing so you will move it over there so the music is not going to start playing until the actual video is playing as you can obviously see once again you're not going to hear this more than likely but he gets the idea of what I'm saying now you saw the transition um and the second one that was pretty weird but yeah and then now your video starts playing or well now your music starts playing as the video is playing um so yeah that's pretty much it and for example like we'll just move this over at the beginning of the video for now so now that the music will start playing as soon as the actual video is playing the whole entire video you know before the uh, title and everything you gotta remember when you do this though your uh, actual video like like I'm showing you here seems how it's like a minute and 23 seconds long your video is going to continue playing until this song is done so you want to come over here click on it make sure you're you're clicked on the the actual the video down here and then come over and how how it's got the two arrows down there you want to bring it over this will be cutting the this will be taking it off the video um like i said as long as um you know depending on how long your actual video is if uh say for example whether your video is a minute and 30 seconds long or five minutes long you know you probably make intros or montages that's around like anywhere from three and a half to five minutes um depending on the actual song that you're playing because a lot of people probably like to actually play the whole entire song so you could do a bunch of editing with your videos to where it actually matches up with your uh the song you're actually using if your song or video like for example your song is about like right there and it's not totally even with your um your montage that's fine i would just leave it anyways because it's it's still a good ending for your song whether it's a little short or a little bit more than your more than your uh your actual video but sometimes you know like if you see people on youtube they'll end up you know there's their video will be playing with the song and at the end of the song there will be a black screen and then let the long you know let the song finish and you know that's it you know i mean you know like i said it, it's it's pretty easy stuff and even though it's like that i've trimmed the hell out of this song to where only the first minute and a half will play because you know my montage my little video here is only a minute and 20 some seconds long so and like i said even though it's trimmed you could still move this wherever you want if you want the song to start playing over here then you can still do that and then still trim the fucking you know trim the song down and you know like I said it's totally up to you guys and uh... like I said Machiavelli I hope these uh... steps are kinda helping you out I mean I'm sorry about the lag and everything but like I said I got a whole bunch of shit running on my computer so everything's not gonna be a hundred percent speed right now um... but you get the idea of what I'm what I'm talking about here and uh... That's pretty much it. It's not so much of what's going on on my screens, on my, uh, you guys really don't need to see every single little bit of detail in my videos to help you. Just getting the basics of where to put things at and how to actually do it. Because like I said, once you start editing and everything, um, you'll, you'll see the full effects for yourself. Um, that's pretty much it. Because, you know, like I said, no matter what's being shown on my screen it really doesn't matter as long as I'm showing you where to actually put them at and how to do it that's pretty much all you need like I said it's pretty pretty simple stuff and I'm catching myself saying that pretty word a lot now again but yeah I need to find some other lingo I guess but uh yeah that's I guess that's it for the um the song for the uh for the music so you know like I said just mess around with it for a little bit you'll get it up and like I said, just just work with the Pinnacle Studios for 
for a little bit, you'll get used to it and shit will fall into place, you know, it's it's pretty easy. And uh one thing I have a problem about Pinnacle Studios is like the videos, like when I capture my videos and I, I and I do put them in here, um like like how I am recording off the uh the PC right now, I can record a seven minute video and it'll only be sixty megabytes. That's it. If I record a seven minute video for, for with my Dazzle on my PS3, it'll end up being almost two gigs just for the video after I'm done editing it and everything. Um, I would have been able to make this video better if it would have let me... Uh, I can open it up in Pinnacle and I could have made it clearer and everything. And, you know, I could have had everything synced up to where you guys could see everything that I'm doing. But when I tried doing that, um, I clicked on the actual video itself. And uh, here, I'm. you know what? I'm going to show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Actually, no, I'm not. Because um, this is just about the... Uh, the titles but yeah I would have I would have done everything with the Pinnacle Studio program but the only problem is when I uploaded it to here and then I played it it showed everything was like distorted it was distorted so bad so if I could find a way to uh, take my captured videos from my computer and upload them through Pinnacle and get them fixed then I will redo everything that way that way everybody gets a better view of what I'm you know pretty much working with here but uh, yeah, like I said, I I tried that earlier today, and it just it seemed like everything was encrypted. It it was pretty bad. So, which is the reason why I'm not using the actual Pinnacle Studio program to edit the videos that I'm doing right now, like the tutorials on on the whole Pinnacle thing. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And like I said, Machiavelli, you need help with anything? Let me know. You got my PSN, you know. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for uh for the uh for the music. So.